I would say compared to any of the courses that I have taken, this is one I wish I could have taken five years back. So at least five years would have been saved. You, you, you usually I uh, am not able to say uh, and not able to figure out. Adventure Air, Air, Aerobics Amber Ambience Ambient Amen Amen Amenity American Americanism Amateur Amnesia Amniotic Amoeba Among Analogous Analogy Anchor Anode Anomaly A noun Anonymous Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was easy. Ten. Hundred percent. Focusing on the words and not running away from them is the most important. I don't remember the exact age when I started facing this issue. I saw other friends of mine speaking easily, fluently and where I was struggling talking to them. So my childhood was spent mostly with myself. I didn't have many friends because I couldn't face the students daily who were criticizing me, who were making fun of me. So because of that, I must have changed three to four schools so in the beginning there was no speech therapy or any other courses that i took in my high school i started looking for answers why does this happen i was frustrated because i wasn't that social and people used to tell me that you are a shy person why don't you talk to me? Why don't you talk to that person? Mm -hmm. But I used to always think, I don't know how to speak. I visited a lot of doctors and took their consultation. They also didn't know what this problem was. They always directed me to some speech therapy. So I thought, okay, this is something that I should be taking it's around 20 years old. I took the classes of speech therapy mm. but that also didn't work much. I used to visit his clinic once in a week for almost three months. I practiced but when it came to speaking to other people, I wasn't able to have that kind of control on my speech. I quit speech therapy. I went to an ENT specialist, she told me how to do some vocal exercises, use my diaphragm to speak properly, but that also didn't work much. She advised me to follow it for six months. But later on, I realized that this is also not something that I'm able to produce the results with. Then I continued to find new teachers, new courses and went to take classes in a city which was away from my home and I did not tell my parents about it because they feel that it's not a problem, you are just born with it and accept it, it is better. So that is, I don't like that concept. Second speech therapy I went to, they were teaching us to speak in a way like you are singing. So that was even more uncomfortable while practicing with other people. So I left 
right then because that wasn't for me then i started looking for other courses and this journey like continued one course to another one course to another and i was taking some extra courses which i could find online but none of them were working i was always following some youtube videos of the people who were teaching how to overcome stammering there was nothing as a tool or no knowledge of how to speak properly so that was only the kind of techniques of extending and speaking really slow which after some time i did not continue with them because actually i wasn't able to use them i must have watched all your testimonials all the videos in all your of playlist them. there are hundreds of them did you watch them all yeah most of them i used to give myself the kind of motivation that yeah this thing is possible if he can do it i can do it too and all this helped and i was having the hope that it might work for me as well so i slowly slowly came across a lot of stories and then got in touch with you on skype and uh, we started talking and you were explaining you don't know then you can't practice it you have given the extra time when in the 20 minute consultation you had extended that to about 50 minutes an hour so that was really great where you were sharing your views your insights and that made me interested okay i should be searching and looking for what is there inside so that way i got to know more and i started watching all your videos your books all these things i was researching which you explained the myths about stuttering first day was how to read properly and how to move your tongue in the proper way day number 2 was the main day in which we practiced how to speak in different modes basically the second day was the one where we did the most of the work and you taught how to speak properly and what to focus on while speaking and how natural or normal people do it <laughs> day number 3 i started with my college first then between breaks i was doing the activities that you told me to do and doing some phone calls as well to see whether it will work entire day till evening i was reading or doing the dictionary work don't look for any courses any speech therapy because that is anyways going to worsen the way you speak you will be relying on some techniques relying on some artificial ways of speaking which are not natural and that also is a form of stuttering you will be switching from one course to another you should watch the testimonials and they are really true go through every research that you can do that way it's better to go with something that is already proven and it has worked for many people who used to study i would say compared to any of the courses that i have taken this is one i wish i could have taken 5 years back so at least 5 years would have been saved <laughs>